Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. And I had a few questions regarding one of the blocks that I actually did that we feature in the course. And it's using the Bernina foot number 46C. This is the pin tuck foot with the decorative stitch. So there's room to first make pin tucks that are spaced wide enough that you can then come back and put a nine millimeter decorative stitch down the middle. So here's a few tips of what and how to use this foot. And if you have the big book of feet that has a whole page on what you can do with this foot and all the things to kind of know, but let me show you what I did with my block. So in this particular quilt, this is the Stitching Cosmos all done on the Bernina and there's no embroidery in any of this. We have links below this video for you to check that out. We actually have 10 videos you can preview for free. So we do 25 different sewing techniques featuring 18 different presser feet. But this is kind of like a bonus foot so I want to show you what we did. So first off, you're going to start off with a two millimeter double needle or twin needle. And if you click right up here, I will link over to how to thread a Bernina sewing machine for using a twin needle and even how to set it up so you make sure not to break it. Then go ahead and put on your 46C foot. And if you have a machine that you need to tell it that's the foot you're using, go ahead and do so. Then you're going to stitch on a single layer of fabric. Now I like to stitch along the lengthwise grain. So if your fabric is the most stable from top to bottom, that is perfect. If you want to draw a line for your first pin tuck that will turn out nice and parallel along that grain line. So you're gonna stitch one pin tuck. Then you're gonna move the foot to position the pin tuck in the far left or far right position. Then you're gonna go ahead and sew another row. Just make sure you have no stabilizer and your fabric isn't starched. That makes the pin tucks not wanna tuck very well, trust me. Now after you get all your rows of pin tucks made with this exact foot, you keep this foot on and you separate the pin tucks to sew down the middle. Now's the time to have some fun and don't forget stabilizer because now you're in the decorative stitch world. So when you stitch with a decorative stitch, you could do it with just a single needle or like I was doing, I left my twin needle on and picked decorative stitches that would be fun. Now this block was all done with the same color, but there are times where it's fun to change up your colors for both your decorative stitches and even when you do the pin tucks because that will add some more texture. So after my fabric was totally filled up with decorative stitches in between all the pin tucks, I laid out my pattern to cut with the cut around tool by Cheryl Phillips or Phillips by Ver arts. Again, links below this YouTube video to find out those. And then I cut this curve out and sewed it into a block. So that is just a little tip. You are going to learn, learn tons of things in the Bernina Stitching Cosmos. If you're watching this, we also have a Viking Stitching Cosmos and a Fop Stitching Cosmos all done on your exact machines. So come check out all the cool stuff that's going on. Until next time, this was a great tip to using possibly a foot that you already have or make it a reason to put it on your Christmas list.